Peace fam, how are you? Hope all is well. Um, I'm here in my relaxed mode, right? So, um, I wasn't going to do this video. I was going to wait until tomorrow, but I figure I'd do it tonight, right? Because I saw something, um, pardon me, saw something today that was so disturbing to me. Um, it was mind boggling, right? So, um, we already know that Georgia, right, um, reopened, so-called reopened their economy, right? Well, first of all, it, it wasn't even today. It was the other day. I was looking at, um, part itself, this video where the brother Phil, um, had this, um, clip where um, these trap queens um, in Atlanta right was in the damn nail salon getting their nails done these motherfuckers they had um, they were in the nail salon and they had uh, shower curtains like see through shower curtains dividing them and the Asians that was doing their nails and their toes, right? Um, it was very disturbing. But then I was like, I'm not even surprised. I'm not even surprised, right? And then today I was looking, like I said, Georgia reopened, Texas reopened, um, Florida reopened. But in Atlanta today, right? In Atlanta, it was a green something mall, right? These ignorant ass need to grows, right? Was in the damn mall. You should have seen how they were lined up. You should have seen how they were lined up. Um, I hope this don't screw up because I'm I don't know what I did. I'm starting to mess with the um with the light, the brightening, or whatever. Anyway, they were in line like roaches. Waiting on Jordans to buy new Jordans, right? I'm like, where where y'all going? Why why would y'all go out? Didn't even have masks on. Just out there like roaches. Uh, my question was, why uh, are you going out in the malls and shit like that, knowing? And this is the thing: the first, the the, the very first day that Georgia opened. Their death rate increased, right? And um, those of us who's conscious, intelligent, and smart already knows, right, that um, Georgia, their death rate in Georgia um, pertaining to African Americans uh, make up 50% of the coronavirus death cases in Georgia, right? And it's not discriminating on age, right? So you got these need to grows. That's what they are. Because they need to grow the fuck up. But, you know, it's too late for their ass anyway. So it is what it is. Hold on. Part and stuff. I hope this doesn't. I don't know. I don't know what happened with um this brightening thing. But let me see. Oh, I don't know. Um. Anyway. Yeah, they were in, literally in line, in line, buying Jordans. Like, where the fuck you going with Jordans on? So, I guess since they opened them all, they'll be opening up the clubs, um, the strip clubs, and all the other shit that um, these uh, trap roaches um, like to, per, you know, um, indulge in, right? It, it was just so disturbing. I'm like... Okay, I can't even say, okay, I'm going to say that, you know, white people out there committing suicide, but what I witnessed today with these ignorant niggas, um, they even worse, they even worse, they out here like it's no such thing as coronavirus, they act like they're not, you know, um, in danger out there, um, uh, amongst one another, passing off that goddamn virus, 
for a pair of damn sneakers. That's the only place they're going to be wearing them sneakers is in the morgue, right? A lot of them. I'm that serious. I hate to say it. But um, that's where they're going to be um, wearing them. That will probably be the last pair of shoes they ever wear on this planet. And it's sad. I'm like, they, they probably got that $1,200 stimulus check. First thing they did, the, the dumb the dumb broads. I'm going to get their goddamn uh, nails and toes done with a damn virus out here that's killing them um, like flies, right? And then they're in the mall, um, waiting on Jordans, waiting on Jordans. I'm like, you can't make this shit up, right? However, it's already written. It's 85% of us, what are they? Poison animal eaters, right? Um, you know, these are the ones who, who will die. These are the ones that like to eat pork. You know, they smoke neck bones and ham and collard greens and all of these um, bad foods and bad diets that lead to uh, high blood pressure, diabetes, and all the other underlying pre-existing conditions they may know they have and may not know they have, right? Um, so um, it won't be a surprise to me that their numbers is large, and it's not a surprise to me that... Um, these are the ones out there risking their lives. Because I already know for an actual fact, it's no, wasn't, not, couldn't possibly be not one person in that crowd that was conscious and had knowledge of themselves. Uh, matter of fact, it was standing outside of the mall first and foremost um, before they can even get in the mall. It was packed outside, got inside, it was packed inside. I'm like, it's no way, no conscious brother and sister. Is risking their goddamn life in no goddamn mall, knowing it's a virus out here, whether we are in good health or not, would um risk our lives. Not only risk our lives, how about, I know a bunch of them got babies. A bunch of them probably got elders. I know it's probably about five or six of them living in the goddamn house together. So you got these people going out in public to um risking their lives, catching that shit. Um, and taking it back to their houses, that's probably overcrowded with people anyway. That's why a lot of us is actually dying because it's a lot of, a lot of them piled up in goddamn house and nobody conscious. A lot of them, you know, a lot of these, a lot of them, people like that, they be the ones, you know, they go in there and buy them Jordans and then you go to their house, right? And, um, you want to turn around at the door. You know, they're so nasty and trifling. So you already know coronavirus is present all through it. It's sad. It's sad. It's sad. So um, not only brothers and sisters or conscious and wise, uh, all wise and civilized people on this planet who want to live, right? This really, to me, I, I can honestly say, um, I'm not going to say just white people right now is dumb. And need to stay away from them. But you need to stay away from these ignorant niggas too. Because they're going to kill you too. I'm trying to tell you. Um, the way they was going on in that mall today. It's not even hot. And these people already should know. It's already hot in, in, in the South. And um, this virus is not going away. Because it's 80 degrees outside. I don't get it. I don't I don't get I don't get this shit. It's like it's so sad. And the reason why it's sad is because these ignorant motherfuckers is going out there and then they putting the whole community wherever they live at, they putting all these people in danger to put on a goddamn pair of sneak to buy a pair of sneakers that where they gonna wear them at? Where they gonna wear them? Cause you can't, you really can't travel from state to state. Cause you got state troopers every goddamn where. Uh, white people ain't playing. They are definitely keeping you confined um, to wherever you, where, wherever you located. So um, I don't know what they dressing up, buying sneakers. Maybe I don't know. But um, I can guarantee you, next two to fourteen days, uh, African Americans is already fifty percent um, of the death rate. In Atlanta or in Georgia, 
Well, we can put that 75 or 80 percent, right? And then Donald Trump, whatever he said, he has to make 150, 160,000 people will be dead by the uh, fall, right? Um, and and but looking at those, looking at those people, um, them ignorant Negroes, uh, in that store, you know, in that mall, in the way they was carrying on, um, you know, the little chicken heads. I'm going to get their nails and, and, and toes done. Like, where the fuck y'all going? Where are you going? Where, why are you getting your nose? Who, who are you trying to impress with your toes and your nails? Why can't you do that shit at home? Anyway, why would you go out there and risk your life? You had to see, you had to see the shower curtain. That shit was crazy. They had shower curtains. And the people, the Chinese people had masks on. These bitches ain't had no masks on. They just sitting there like... I mean, I, it, just to look at it was just uncomfortable. To look at it was like, if I if that was me, and just to go walk in something like that and see how it was set up, you know, um, red flags and danger would um, be all in my head. It's no way I could just even think about sitting down in a damn uh, Asian um, nail salon. During during the pandemic, these people are crazy. You know, a lot of them really need to look at what happened in 1917 because uh, they will be um, a part of the statistics of uh, 2020. Uh, I'm almost certain of that, right? Um, it's just ignorant. It's just it's ignorant. It's disgusting. And um, like I said, we're not going to just say white people. Um, at this moment, it's a lot of ignorant niggers. You better stay away from them. I'm telling you. Keep your babies away from them. You stay away from them. Make sure your elder's not around them. If they want to go out there and commit suicide, um, that's on them. All ain't going to make it. And we ain't here to save all they asses. You know what I mean? You know, um, common sense. And then they out there taking their checks and shit, a little $1,200. Going to buy sneakers and doing their hair and shit. What about your rent? Or your mortgage? Or whatever. See, they don't realize this shit going to return. Even though if it died now a little bit in the summertime, it's returning um, in the fall. Right? And half of these motherfuckers ain't going to have no place to stay. Because they taking their money, not paying their bills and stuff right now. Right? So they probably don't have no place to stay once they... Um, once, you know, because the economy, uh, over, their shelter in place is already lifted, right? So that means once that shit is lifted, you're going to have to start paying your bills all over again. And then all the money y'all stay sitting there wasting on dumb shit, they ain't going to be out the door. It is what it is. I don't have no sympathy for them, okay? It's like I don't have any sympathy for these white people out here in these rallies running around spitting in each other's face. I ain't had no sympathy for these ignorant uh, niggers, Negroes, whatever you want to call them, uh, that was at this mall today. It was disgusting to see. Also, right, because I'm getting ready to take it down. I'm very tired. Also, I want to know, um, like, what the fuck? What, what, New York, what's up with y'all? Like, I was looking at the thing where this dark-skinned Dominican, right? Police. And then they said before they got to, um, this is what happened. They was already in the white neighborhoods giving out masks and, and hand sanitizer, right? So then they got over to where the black people was at and said it was the same type of crowds, right? Um, they called their self dispersing the crowds, right? Said they wasn't social distancing or whatever. And um, instead of them passing, you know, being nice to um, the brothers and sisters, giving them masks and giving them um, hand sanitizer, they gave them ass whoopings. So it was a Dominican, dark-skinned Dominican dude. The way he hit this black dude, I was like, yo, let me tell y'all something. I don't mean no harm, but New York, y'all motherfuckers right now are soft as cotton because I'm telling you, if that was in Wilmington, Delaware, and a motherfucker uh, would have put their hands on one of my brothers and sisters, uh, Dominican, Puerto Rican, Mexican, I don't give a fuck what they was, but if they would have, I'm cop or not, if they would have put their hands on one of my brothers and sisters uh, here in this city, right? It, it would have been a, you know, the, when it went on World Star, trust me, 
it, it wouldn't have went on world star looking like that. See, I don't I don't know what happened here, but it seemed like to me New York is just allowing these motherfuckers to um do what they want to do to them. But we ain't having that shit not where we ain't no cops running up on us, um uh, uh punching us in our face, stomping us and choking us and and ain't nobody gonna do nothing about it, really. Really, it was so fucked up. And then it's like, y'all just went over there and gave all of the white people, you know, uh, the hand sanitizer and um, gave them the hand sanitizer and the mask. Get over there to black people. Y'all niggers disperse. You know what I mean? Okay, but this is what I hope. I hope. I hope and wish, right? Because um, at a time like this for, for, for police to be doing that, especially... A goddamn uh, Dominican, like I said, and there's no black and brown alliance here. And he was dark as coal. He was dark as coal, and they still don't like black people. I keep trying to explain that to a lot of brothers and sisters, but you know, in New York, they like to the swirl, right? So some of them reap what the fuck they sell with that bullshit, right? But um, yeah, you, you, you can't, you can't do no shit like that. Not in Delaware, you can't do no shit like that to us. Uh, matter of fact, you know, uh, I lived in South Carolina. Ain't, ain't no cops running up on nobody in South Carolina um, doing no shit like that to them either. Texas, I don't I don't think it's happening. California, I don't think it's happening. I don't know what's up with New York. Chicago, shit. It, it would have been shit. I don't know, for some odd reason, you know, New York. I'm just thinking in my heart and mind that um, New York in a minute, I think my brothers and sisters is on the brink of um, just tearing up that whole goddamn state. And Kumo, I, you know, he's he's all right. Um, the Blasio is a fucking racist, you know. And 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 the bitch that married the what the black woman that married him should be ashamed of herself because he's a straight racist because he's allowing all this shit to happen, right? Uh, yes, he is dealing with inequality in New York, and I know that for an actual fact, right? So, um, but I think, you know, with all this mental stress going on with these brothers and sisters in, in New York and the way they dying and the way they got these bodies sitting up in their houses decomposing and all that, it's only a matter of time before New York be this New York of the 70s and the 80s, right? It's going to be a problem. It's going to be it's going to be a problem, but that problem is just going to be the solution to solve all of that racism and um, shit they've been dealing with for a long time, especially with these Dominicans and, and Latins and shit that come over here in our goddamn country and in our neighborhood and then jump on the side of white supremacy. Uh, you trying to abuse us and harm us and all that shit. I, man, I, I looked at that shit. I was like, uh, I, <laughs> I'm a female, I'm not, but I'm telling you right now, I, if, if, if something like that would have happened, especially to me, if my mother would have did some shit like that to me in this city, this bitch would have been dead, burnt to the ground. And he would have probably been dead on the spot. He wouldn't have moved from where he was at. Not not what, what he did. But, um, yeah, y'all got to wisen up, New York. I hate, you know, I know y'all going through um so much. I know you are, you know, and I don't want to entice y'all to be violent, you know. But um, right now, um, uh, you, we, we should not be seeing that. The world should not be seeing these motherfuckers abusing y'all the way they are doing and getting away with it. It's no way. But I think the problem with New York is this. They can't have guns there, right? We we, we got guns. We got motherfucking guns. Shit. Delaware, yeah, you're going to think with caution before you run up on us with that bullshit. Um, or any state where, uh, you know, we can carry guns. It's different when in New York when... The cops got guns and you don't. But I just think in a minute that um, those brothers and sisters is going to wisen up and they're going to go to war with them cops and rightfully so because the way they're mistreating our brothers and sisters, even in, in a time when they're suffering the most, you know, um, I think karma is right around the corner uh, with that bullshit. 
Um, but I'm going to let you guys go. I just wanted to get those random thoughts. Meanwhile, down in, um, in Atlanta, you know, um, they have a COVID-19, um, uh, Jordan death wish. Yeah. Brothers and sisters need to get their shit together. But like I said, all ain't going to make it. Matter of fact, 85% ain't going to make it. Matter of fact, 95% ain't going to make it. But that's okay. I'd rather have 5% that's all wise and civilized that will be able to um, build a righteous nation, destroy devils on civilization, because um, these these type of beings, um, they're, they're useless on this planet anyway. And we're tired of them. We've been trying to teach them, you know, lead them in the right direction. But um, 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 they, 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 they like to be led in the wrong direction. You know, so it is what it is. Um, to be honest, I made my peace with it. I don't even want to hear anything about, um, their numbers in Georgia anymore because at first I looked at them as victims. Um, today, once I saw the behavior, I'm like, uh, they're just volunteer. They're just vile, volunteer, suicidal, uh, type people, not just there, Florida, Texas as well. You know, all the rest of us staying our ass in the goddamn house. These motherfuckers out going, I wish I would, even if they open up the mall here. That, I wish I would go in a goddamn mall. I'm not going in no mall. I'm not going around people at least till 2022. And then, um, <clears throat> by the, unless they get a, a vaccine, but other than that, I'm not going around no goddamn large crowds, no bot, no, no damn mall, no, no, nothing that has a large body of people. I don't think so. Um, got to stay out the way. This this virus, we ain't even out of the first wave of this virus, let alone the second and the third. It's getting ready to be terrible. I just saw a vision of um how this thing is going to end. And it's not gonna end well. It's not. It's not, you know, but um only the strong is gonna survive. So, um, yeah, brothers and sisters, with the common sense, the all wise and civilized, it is best that we still shelter in place. Pay your bills. Do not go out there spending your money on no goddamn uh, Jordans and, and going to no nail salon um, with nothing separating you and these people but a, a goddamn shower curtain. And that was the most ghettoest thing I ever seen on this planet. Anyway. Um, with that being said, I'm about to get me some rest. Um, keep vibrations high. I'll probably make a video tomorrow. We'll see. Um, that being said, I'm out. Peace.